The Student Hub Live is an online interactive event, and there are two ways that you can engage with it. There's the watch only option where you'll just see the live stream and also a watch and engage button where there's lots of functionality, chat and widgets that you can enjoy as part of the experience. And I'm going to show you how that all works. When you select the watch and engage button, you'll be taken to this page and you'll be asked to sign in with your UKU, your Open University Computer Username. Now, if you don't have one of those or you can't remember it, um, there's a handy link there that you can use to create an account or retrieve your details, then you can enter the website. Now, when you use those details, it will automatically populate the site as yourself. But if you'd like to change your name, maybe you don't want to have your surname in there or maybe you'd like to add a picture, you can go to my profile. And here you can uh, insert your screen name as you'd like it to appear, your email, and you can choose an image if you'd like to have one there as well. It's nice to see who we're talking to, so do take time to do that if you can. We then enter the website just by selecting this button. And when you're here, you can see there's lots going on. We've got the video stream, which is what's happening live in the studio. We've got a selection of widgets, which we'll put up when we want you to vote on something or interact. And also there's the chat button. This is just an example, but when the event is live, there'll be lots of chat going on, so it'll be scrolling through your screen as you see it. And for that reason, it's really important that you choose a layout that works for you. And at the bottom right-hand side of the screen, you'll see that there are different options you can select. So you can choose a layout that works like this, or this. To view the video full screen, select the full screen button that appears on the bottom right-hand side corner of the video. And you can return to the standard layout on the computer screen by just pressing the Escape key. There are other web browser options as well to adjust the screen settings. Most web browsers will let you expand or reduce the size of a page by just holding the Control or the Command key and pressing the plus or minus key. And to return it to the original page size, you just hold down the Control key and press 0. And you can also use screen magnifiers, color contrasts and screen readers. Now that you have the layout that's right for you, it's important to understand the chat. As I said, when the event's live, there'll be lots going on here. But if you'd like to chat, um, you can just type something into the button, and then you just press Enter or Return to send the message. You can also use emoticons. So I'm going to add one of those now. We like those. They're really nice so that we know how you're feeling. So do add those as well. But when there's a lot of chat, it can be a little bit confusing. And if things are moving a little bit too fast for you and you'd like to go back to something, you can use this handy pin button. So you can just press that and that will hold the script for you so that you can scroll backwards and move forwards at your leisure. You can also highlight certain bars if you'd like to read something or take note of something. And again, you might want to scroll back and pick up on a few points that have been going on during a session that way. At times, we may also have different chat options. So we might open a chat room where there can be specific questions. And to do that, we'll tell you about it when the event is live. And you can just select the different buttons so you can move from the chat room to chat room. Finally, sometimes we'd like to know your opinions about things. And that's when you'll see these widgets or interactive voting tools that are coming up on the screen. And at any time, just grab one of those and fill it in. So here we're looking at location. We'd like to know where you are. So to do that, you can just click somewhere on the map. They're all pretty self-explanatory. Click somewhere on the map, and then just click away from the screen, and it'll take you back to the page and count your button. Sometimes we'd like to know, for example, which color you prefer. Um, and so then you can just add something there, and again, click away. What's your favorite season? I'm definitely going for spring at the minute. And then you can also see what everyone else is saying once you've voted. So there is a benefit in doing this. Sometimes we might ask for a word cloud so you can say how you're feeling about things. And then everyone else will add their comments as well and we'll get one big word cloud. So I hope that that's shown you how easy the interface is to use. But we also have a direct link into the studio with email and Twitter. And so sometimes we'll ask you for selfies, for videos, for your thoughts and questions. So that is another option that you can use as well. This is an online interactive event. It's really all about the audience participation. And so I really hope that you're able to get involved either by saying things or by listening to what everyone else is saying as well. It's all part of building a community and I hope that you can become part of it.